right now on News Channel 8 at 6. A sinkhole causes water contamination worries in Polk County. Aid on your side wants to know why the public was the last to know about it. New details in a death at a Lakeland Walmart. For the first time, we're hearing from the employees charged in the case. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Aid on your side revealed a giant sinkhole that sucked hundreds of millions of gallons of radioactive water into our aquifer. And now we know the government kept a lid on it. The sinkhole at the Mosaic New Wales plant in Mulberry swallowed that contaminated water back in late August. All of this kept under wraps by the state. That is until senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews exposed it last night. He joins us now live above that sinkhole from Eagle 8 HD. Hi, Steve. Hey, Stacy. a couple of points I want to make right off the top here is that Mosaic told me there is no evidence that the sinkhole is growing or endangers other water compartments of the gypsum stack. But let's take a look. Let's, let's, let's zoom in just a little bit here. This crevice just to the bottom right of your screen wasn't here yesterday. So it looks like part of the wall is either collapsing or possibly this thing is expanding a little bit. Second point, recovering that 215 million gallons of contaminated water from the aquifer is a process that will take years. The sinkhole beneath this gypsum stack opened August 27th. It sucked 215 million gallons of radioactive water into the Florida aquifer, our source for drinking water. How deep does this go? No one knows for sure. The immediate concern... Threat to the public. There's no threat to the public. The water was in a containment pool. It was used to help produce fertilizer. The mission now, contain contaminated water on Mosaic's New Wales plant. Stop it from spreading to the wells of neighbors like Jim Risk. Right now, I'm not too concerned because I've been here long enough to know Mosaic does take care of their problems. According to Mosaic, this recovery well is designed to capture the contaminated plume. The recovery well has started to detect some traces. What's the plan to fix the hole? Do what they did in 1994 and again in 2004 when sinkholes opened on this property. Inject a stabilizing cement or grout. Fill the hole. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection is the lead government agency monitoring this incident. DEP points out Mosaic notified all the required government agencies. But none of those agencies, the EPA, Polk County Commissioners, nor the DEP, bothered to notify the public. We've gotten some posts on our Facebook page from residents who claim they live nearby and they're concerned about the quality of their, their water. What can you tell them? Well, I, I can assure everyone that the water quality you know, even on our property is still very clean, very good water quality. Some wonder how Mosaic can possibly capture all the contaminants that are now in the aquifer. David Jellerson says the recovery process will take years. If I start to see a difference in my water, then I would become concerned. Now let's give you a little bit of perspective on the size of this sinkhole, if I may. We are going to show you an excavator that is up on the side of the gypsum stack here. There it is, bottom right side of your screen. Fairly large piece of equipment. And now take a look at the size of this sinkhole. That is one big hole. As you heard a little bit earlier, Mosaic tells me there is no danger to the public, but if nearby residents are worried, the company will test their wells. Stacy? Steve, I guess this just begs the question, why weren't government officials more transparent about this? Why wasn't Mosaic more transparent? Well, you know, it's a good question. Mosaic did what it had to do. It notified the DEP, the EPA, uh, Polk County commissioners. This was all kept under wraps for 19 days by DEP and no explanation from the state about that yet, but we'll be looking at that next week. All right, Steve Andrews live in Eagle 8 HD tonight. Thank you.